Um, however, that takes us to the next thing, which is by far and definitively the absolute coolest thing that you can do with this. It is called the cognitive suite. And what it does is it tries to interpret an intention. Think about that for a second. When you do anything, you have an intention to do it first, right? When I raise my hand, first my brain has an intention to raise it. That's all right, I'll, I'll reset it again. So what this does is it looks at your brain pattern and it tries to learn those intentions and then recognize them in the future. All right. Can you name it? You name them as you go or something and then try to go? Yes, exactly. That makes sense if that would work. There you go. All right. Normally the signal is a lot better. I don't know what's, maybe it's the Wi-Fi here or something that's affecting it. What is the range? Not it's fun. supposed to be like meters, a, a full room, like not a room this big, but like living room. You should be able to like have it you know, on your computer in your living room and be able to go like anywhere in the room. So yeah, in theory the range is supposed to be quite good. I don't know why it's uh, mm -hmm. acting up tonight. Does it connect with uh, the Wi-Fi device? Or it has a dongle? Or? No, it has a USB, this, this little dongle here, and it's a proprietary wireless thing. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, all I know is they decided not to use Bluetooth because it wasn't fast enough and it couldn't carry enough data. Exactly. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, oh, first switch to me. Um, and then I've removed all the training, so it's completely... Uh, okay. I'm going to clear all the training data. So this is basically starting from scratch. And what you, what you have to do first is train neutral. So that's doing nothing. So what I'm going to do is for eight seconds, I'm going to think about doing nothing. I know it sounds
And I asked him, what do you think of when you were training it to disappear? And he said, the E-bombs, <laughs> the clouds. And I was like, really? And that works? <laughs> and it worked every time, because it was just unique thought every time. And now I want to lift. And Oh, nice. There you go. That's good. Lift. And then. And strong one. And then up. No. Use the force. Okay, now I'm going to try what you can do without even moving my hand. Now I'm going to try nothing, nothing. Nope, nope, nope. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Well, the more different behaviors to change, and the less specific each one is. If you add more, it gets yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it gets you. a lot harder. The, the basically the maximum number of different things you can do at once is about four, and that's if you're really good. You so can do four different behaviors. But what I'm saying is, so put that. Why don't you use the? Why don't you call up one you already set to be carefully prepared? Can't you call up the last one? You would think, wouldn't you? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not sure why, yeah, but I haven't happen. found the carryover is very good from session no, to session. I'm not surprised at that. It may have something to do with the exact placement on your head, because you don't get it exact every single time, yeah. or just your state of mind. Just, it could be so many different things, right? So you have to train it every time you use it. At this stage, yes. I've, I've found that I have to train it pretty much every time I use it. I mean, I've kind of sort of done stuff in between sessions, but it's never very accurate. Like, like just like this training session was not very accurate. And you can see it, it does a skill rating. And right now I'm at 0%. Now, if I try to train it a little further, I'll, I'll do that actually, just another eight seconds here. But I mean, you can store a profile or whatever you call it. Oh, absolutely. That's the theory. The theory is that you'll keep teaching it over a long period of time, and eventually, it'll get really accurate. In practice, I haven't found that to be the case. Well, does each electro, is each electro positionable separately from the other 14 or not? Are they fixed relative to each other? They're fixed relative to each other, yes. So in theory, if you placed it exactly the same place on your head every time, it would be getting the exact same reading. Have you tried drawing semicircles around certain spots and getting exactly the same spot? I have not. <laughs> no, not yet. But, but that, that, sure. that may improve accuracy. So you have to get it to get into a fraction of a millimeter. The theory is that no, you don't. Well, the, the structure theory is that just the general... Inside your brain is really tiny. Yes. But again, the research has suggested that as long as you're in the right general area, you should get consistent results. That's what the research, research says. Again, in practice, I have not seen that. But again, I, you know, I've only been messing around with this. This is maybe the fifth time I've had it on my head. So, Jason, what, what happens is when you're listening, the ball will actually did the last time. When you're listening to uh he lost signal. Oh you lost signal. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> when you're listening the, the box comes down, when you're talking the box comes up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you mind putting it on on the full scan and see all fourteen channels and then just just talk with everybody. It'd be interesting to see whether sure. your general space your parents and the whole thing know. Okay. I think you might. Because you're well, you know, you're running that same software and receiving it, and just have never seen it, but you still have it. The thing is, I mean, you might kind of sort of see patterns, but to be honest, this is like, this is 14 different inputs. You know, and each one has a range, like a very, a very far range. So, to me, like just looking at it, you're not you're not really gonna get any patterns out of that. I mean, when you stop you know, talking, I'm surprised that you, you know, like what what was this? You know, I don't know what thinking of. That was a huge spike on something, but what what does it mean? I have no idea. There's another one. It was a huge a huge spike and a huge dip. Is that a mystery? Is that just an error? Is that just noise? Well, you were wondering what the other one meant, so that's what. Really <laughs> <cool. laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. and when, when the laughter happened, and you know, at that. So it's funny they don't have a Fourier transform. The way it looked at that, you think it's in the frequency dimension. Not well, that's exactly how they. Isn't that the, the FFA? FFT over there? But, no, that's a time series. 
This is a time series. Oh, uh, uh, this yeah, yeah. is the FFT. But the FFT, all of them, 